Guess what made Yankees day yesterday? Yeah, constitutional silver. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate it. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I picked up at my local coin shop. Stopped in there Friday at lunch and asked for what they have for constitutional silver. Specifically, Washington quarters. Again, I like junk that is in really good shape. So I even asked him, I said, could I just pick through it? <laughs> he looked at me like, oh, okay, they're, they're, just, they're just constitutional silver, no special dates. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not looking for special dates. I'm looking for really well-conditioned Washington quarters, stuff that just really doesn't show much wear. So he said, sure, yeah, go ahead. So I went through and, and got uh, a roll. I got it for uh, 115 and I was pretty happy, $115 for picked through uh, constitutional silver. You know, I can buy it at Atmex, uh, Provident, SD Bullion, whatnot, but sometimes they have the discretion to switch it up and give you dimes, which isn't bad, uh, and you never really know what you're gonna get. I, I have bought some, and uh, I got something like this. Yeah, I forget where I got these from, but you know, those aren't bad quarters, you know, they're, uh, you can read the dates on them, but they're really slick. And well, let's, uh, let's do a, a little comparison, not quite like International Stacker did with his hoard, but uh, let's just, let's take a look at some of the uh, weight differences. So I'm gonna fire this up and make sure we're set. Let's just randomly grab one right here. So we got a 0.217 troy ounces. I believe that is, let me actually make sure. Yep, no, nope, yeah, let's switch over to here. Troy ounces, so that's better. Point, let's just double check it again. 0.198 troy ounces. And let's take one of the barber quarters. 0.75 troy ounces, hmm. 0.79, okay, let's take uh, this guy, 0.98, uh, 0.201, so you can definitely see, just spot checking, just really the difference is 0.81 between, you know, those that have really gone through some years of wear, really nice looking coins but they're slick, right? Versus maybe boring <laughs> to some people, but definitely not to me. I, I can look at a 1962 or a 1964 Washington quarter and go, that is awesome. I get jacked. I walked, I walked back from lunch into work with a roll of quarters in my pocket. And I'll tell you that, 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 that made my day. So that to me is fun. Um, maybe not for everybody, but maybe maybe you have to have the fancy stuff. But I I just don't need to. I mean, it, this is this is real wealth. This is this is real money, you know. And that and that adds to my current Washington quarter rolls, uh, two, three, and a just about a half. So three and a half rolls. It should top this one off, make it a complete uh, four rolls of Washington quarters. But really, those are those are quality stuff um, for the type of stacking I like to do, and that is as low premium as I can get. Again, 115 for a roll when I bought it. Um, Friday, spot had already dropped, so um, that, was, that was pretty good. I checked on JM in the parking lot before I went in, and they were selling it for 115. Exactly, um, you know, and then I would have had to wait. And again, I wouldn't have been able to pick through. And it's not that Yankee's a control freak. I just like what I like, right? So those are the quarters. 
Um, I've been really focusing on the quarters too. I think I think that's a uh, that's where I had a lot of dimes, had a lot of mercury and, and rosies. I decided I was going to focus in on quarters, and there you have it. So that was the first pickup. Second one was this, and I did show this on a live stream uh, coast to coast. But this is the this is the coin shop that I drove to up in Manchester, New Hampshire. Bob's Coins of Manchester, New Hampshire. By the way, this weekend, there was a massive coin show in Manchester. Um, life, unfortunately, got in the way. I didn't get a chance to go there, but boy, I, I ah, that would have been fun uh, to visit. I got a hold of a Canadian Maple Leaf. Why? Well, I did a giveaway. Terry Abadou got it, and I didn't like the idea that my tube was short, so it's not short now. <laughs> Punch it in there. All right, so that's really my pickups. Um, a really short video, just wanted to mention that to you. And uh, just, oh, one other thing. I did ask two local coin shops for some gold. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for either a tenth of an ounce or maybe even a quarter of an ounce for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I think the prices are going to come down a little bit more. I'm not in a rush. I have about 200 plus subscribers to go. So again, no rush, but I'm just kind of, you know, checking out what, what uh, local, local coin shops have, what their prices are, comparing them to the ones online. Um, and, and I'm trying to zero in when I think we may have gotten a decent dip um, you know, in the next month or so, I'm going to snag it. But until then, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.